welcome to today's video. It's a Thursday, which means it's a homey vlog. I do vlogs um, every Thursday. So Thursdays are my days to sit down and catch up with you guys, show you what's new in the world of pregnancy in my life and also just general chit chats, life updates. I just went on a really long walk. Firstly, it was amazing because it smells and feels and looks like spring. The sun was luckily out while I was out walking. It's kind of gone in now. And it was just such a nice walk and I listened to a podcast. It was a little bit, I can feel it now. <laughs> I don't know what you expect when you're pregnant, but you, I suppose you overlook the fact that you're going to feel it in your muscles and joints and things like that. You're going to feel different. And I felt different. Gosh, I need to get in the sun. I'm looking pale. Um, but yeah, I felt like round ligament pain on, in my tummy, I think it was, which is perfectly normal, so I'm not really worried. It's definitely something I want to help um, s help with swimming. So hopefully the swimming pools will be open soon because I know swimming will help like my core strength and my ligaments and things like that. But at the moment, like going on long walks each day is really, really good. If you haven't watched a previous vlog, Lawrence and I have set ourselves a task through Lent that instead of giving something out because I feel like the last year or so we've given enough up <laughs> um, we've added a feel good target to ourselves so the feel good target is we're both going to be doing um, well Lawrence will be doing 10,000 steps a day and I will be doing 8,000 steps a day at least and it's working out really well my walk today I'll show you yeah so I've done just under, I mean, this is just really hard to show you. Just under 9,000 steps. That was really professional how I just showed you. Um, so I've just, I've done just under 9,000 steps today, which is really good. So I'm really happy with that. I definitely feel like the mental benefits of it. So yeah, um, it's been a good morning so far. I've also got today's video done done a few worky emails and um, done my walk. I'm just about to have some lunch, some leftover tuna pasta. How are you all? It has just been the new announcement in terms of like a roadmap to um, freedom basically, <laughs> or to unlocking the country. And um, what are your thoughts on it? I don't know, I think everyone's gonna have um, their own opinion and own thought. I'm staying positive about it. I definitely think that they haven't given this roadmap to make sure everybody just now runs around wild. So if you still are very comfortable being much more withdrawn and keeping your distance, then I think that's your choice and it's up to you. I, for one, am really happy to know that there is an end in sight, finally. I've really, really struggled over the last few weeks and months. I mean, since last March, it's just been really, really difficult for everyone. Um, but I did have the added impact of losing my dad in that time. So it's been a really hard time for me personally that I'm glad I can now see the end of. And for some reason, I've actually found it the hardest in the last few weeks. And I think a lot of people are the same. They found it the hardest in the last few weeks. So yeah, it's nice to know that hopefully in a few weeks time, I can go swimming and hopefully in a few weeks time um like Lawrence can I Lawrence and I can go have a meal out and you know our wedding might be back on very very soon so I'm really excited um I'm personally not going to go too wild because one I'm pregnant so I can't <laughs> two when I have the baby I'm hoping to breastfeed and obviously I don't want to be like out and about with a brand new baby in front of like loads of people while there's still a virus around um, specifically because I can't get the injection, the jab, whilst pregnant or breastfeeding, or it's not advised right now, so um, it'll just be nice to be able to do a little bit more, a little bit more than normal. <sighs> anyway, I feel like that was a total ramble. How are you all doing? Today's video is going to be really nice, it's going to be a little pregnancy update, um, a bump date, the bump's getting big. I'm also going to be unboxing a few really exciting PR packages I've received this week. So I really wanted to do like a nice unboxing and just go through them because I've not actually seen them myself. Yeah, but for now, I'm going to grab some lunch. I'm going to get an orangina. I'm going to watch a bit of Selling Sunset, my new fave program. I'm literally obsessed with it. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then we'll do a bit of work and then get our PR packages and unbox them. How exciting. Oh, let's go have some lunch. Look at that. Look at 
that. Oh my gosh. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. doing an unboxing because normally I would go into the baby's room and do it but we've been re-sanding some of the chest of drawers I showed you in last week's vlog and it means the chest of drawers are kind of all over the place in that room so it's just easier to come in here and sit on the beds and show you but I'm really lucky because I've been being sent some really lovely packages as gifts. We're gonna open this one first this came through the post this week um haven't opened it as you can see i think i know who it's from there's so much movement from the baby right now it's like really kicking down below um yeah i feel really fortunate to be sent stuff it's always um unbelievable but especially when a small business sends you something so this i think i'm right in saying is from my a friend of mine who i used to actually work with and she started up a little business on Etsy um, and she's got an Instagram and Facebook so I will link it down below. It's these lovely like care packages um, and just lovely like um, gift boxes. You know, oh thank you so much. Okay. Service with a smile. <laughs> A lovely little business. Let's have a look. So there's a card. Dear Sophie, here is a little bespoke mum-to-be gift box. How exciting. I'm a mum-to-be. Just for you. A few treats to help you relax before the baby arrives. Enjoy. Lots of love from Carly. P.S. Would be great to catch up for a walk chat once lockdown is over. 100%. First of all, cute that it's wrapped with a lovely bow. It smells like something smells good. I don't know what it is yet. Ah. Oh. So her business is called Handmade Gifts by CJ. Obviously there's her details here, but I will pop them on the screen so it's really easy for you to read. Cute little star sequins. They're nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, loads of stuff. That's one of the nice smells. A Relax and Revive Strawberry Fizzing Bath Bomb which smells fantastic. I've actually run out of bath bombs, so that'll be really nice to use. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Horlicks. Horlicks are favorite. Horlicks? Yeah. No. A chocolate Horlicks. Oh, chocolate Horlicks. Wow. A little oh, yeah. make your own hot chocolate thing, That's so cute. marshmallows. That is really cute. Love Horlicks in the night, and I've been making Horlicks um, quite often in the Hotel chocolate velvetizer and it's so good. So that is really nice. I'm gonna might even have that later. Might save it for a weekend spa night. Oh my gosh, honey and almond foot pack. Moisturizing and nourishing foot mask using nature's goodness. Nice. I was actually looking at my feet today and I was like, wow. <laughs> Wow, I don't know how to like do foot care, but yeah, I need like they need some care right now They're a little dry not looking their most glam gonna gonna say that so I'm looking forward to using that <gasps> We've got another hot chocolate a Cadbury's instant hot chocolate another sachet How nice that they come in these little sachets. So it's like real you time face mask I love this brand of face masks seventh heaven love seventh heaven face masks Oily combo and problem skin. I have combo skin. Jasmine, crushed aloe vera and harvested honey. <gasps> I love aloe vera. That will be nice on the skin. Ooh, yummo. I love Lindor chocolate. This would be honestly such a wonderful thing to send to someone who's expecting a baby. Especially as um, lockdown is still going on. I know lots of people are like kind of grieving spending pregnancy with family and friends because we can't at the moment anyway. Um, hopefully we will be able to soon after the new announcements, but... Moisturising hand cream. Nice. Oh, that smells really nice. 
can always do with some hand cream at the moment because overwashing it has meant dry hands. Oh, a nice Carex hand sanitizer. I've had one of these before. It's honestly the strongest smell, but it's a nice smell. What's this? Young Writers Edition. Oh, letters, letters to me when I grow up. Right now, read later, treasure forever. Open when I'm grown up. What? Oh my gosh. That is going to be so nice. And then they can keep it and look back. Do you know what? I haven't got anything like this at all. And I really want to be that sentimental person. I am quite sentimental anyway, but I want to have these like gorgeous memories and remember things that you would forget. Like no doubt, like a lot of the house we'll forget because we'll probably be moved by the time the baby's like, I don't know, two, three, four years old. That is so nice. Oh, and there's lovely little stickers. So in case I didn't make that clear, like a little um, booklet with envelopes in and each envelope is telling you what you can write um, in that letter for that day. And maybe I can take um, Polaroids as well and put the Polaroids in with the letter because I've got this mini Instax. That is so nice. I absolutely love that. And I think that's such a nice idea. And I've got nothing like that. So, that's, so for me, that is like my favorite thing. We have a candle, pomegranate coconut. That's what I can smell. Wow, that is such a nice smell. Reminded me of summer. This is absolutely lovely. Honestly, I'm just like, what a lovely business to set up. What a good idea. I know from her Etsy um, and her Facebook page, which is all linked down below, there are boxes, there's loads of boxes. There's boxes for like um, a future brother to be, future sister to be, like boxes aimed at young children who have a sibling on the way, boxes aimed at grandparents, mums for Mother's Day, and boxes aimed at other halves and partners and dads and things like that. So I think it's a really gorgeous idea and I really like it and I'm going to link everything below. I would love it if you could um, go and follow her on Instagram, place an order on her Etsy store. like. Honestly, supporting a small business means so much more to that person than buying from Amazon means to Amazon, you know? Like, sit back a bit. It's quite hard to sit with a massive tummy. See, I'm cold, but only half cold. Let me... For God's sake. I'm a little Buddha right now. So, plant-based power you can count on. So this is a package from Nimble Baby. The company does really lovely plant-based very natural cleaning products and they can be like all sorts of cleaning products like cleaning the bottles cleaning work surfaces cleaning clothes so let's have a proper look from what i've seen of the company that i've been looking when i looked online they're a very they're exactly kind of what i want to bring into motherhood which is like a natural sustainable ethical vision like eth using ethical things as much as i can anyway i know no no one's perfect so nimble good clean fun new parents gift set all the cleaning essentials for new mamas and papas oh can't believe i'm gonna be a mum sometimes i just can't believe it let's have a look inside oh big bottles okay so we've got nimble good clean fun cuddle lover baby fabric softener cute so soft and fluffy now give me a cuddle plant-based up to 70 washes that's fantastic it safely softens fibers without any chemical nasties making it ideal for your baby's sensitive skin it's fragrance free so you can be extra sure that no skin irritating residues will be left behind gentle on skin no animal testing allergen free oh that's nice what a big bottle as well nimble nappy lover cloth cloth nappy detergent that's amazing because I want to be using cloth nappies. I absolutely love that. Plant-based, allergen-free. It's powder, I think. Yeah. Oh, that smells like talcum powder. Oh my God, I love that smell. Oh my gosh, that's got me so excited. I really need to order lots of reusable nappies. That is so nice. And then this one is the Nimble Good Clean Fun Laundry Lover Baby Detergent. This one is softener, this one's detergent. You'll quickly notice we haven't included dose caps. This is to do our part to fight against plastic. It might be a small gesture for now, but every little bit helps. We're sure you'll have one knocking around in your cupboard. I do. That's really good, love to see it. Cool, sticky stopper spray. 
Antibacterial cleaner. All squeaky clean and bleach free. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Works get great. Works a treat. Gets rid of sticky and greasy residues left on toys and surfaces for a grime free non sticky surfaces. So you kind of know you're not going to like spray nasties where your baby will be, which is like really relieving. Oh, a milk buster baby bottle cleaner. Bye bye cloudy smelly bottles. 400 washes. That's good. So how do you do this? So add water to the bottle, spray this in the bottle with the water and then brush it with this cool looking thing. Look at that. So I want to hopefully breastfeed if it works out. Um, but my, I would love to do, what's it called? Um, not duo, what's it called? I've got really silly brain today. I would love to do, um, duo feed. What is it called? Where I want to breastfeed but also pump into a bottle so Lawrence can do some feeds as well. Just because he wants to. I would like him to and it would be nice to like, you know, have a break in the night and maybe <laughs> sleep a bit longer. Um, I can't remember, there is a word for it that I say every day and for some reason right now I can't remember what it is. So we will be buying bottles, hopefully the baby will take to both the breast and the bottle. It's all going to be a learning curve, I know that, but this is going to be really helpful. I love that little blue thing, just love it. That is a really nice box of things and I'm really interested in this brand. Nice products that you know is going to be safe around your baby, which I just don't think you can really argue with. So that's really nice. Thank you, Nimble. I'm really, really happy with that. This is all really exciting. I'm very, feel very spoiled right now. That's for sure. The last thing I did want to show you, this wasn't sent to me, but I mentioned it on Instagram, on my Instagram this week, and I've had a lot of um, messages. This is um, a proper look at the baby monitor I bought from Lidl. So it's the Motorola E's 30, E-A-S-E 30, four inch video baby monitor. Um, it was only £19.99, I found it in the sale in Lidl, so if you do have a Lidl near you, go down there quickly ASAP, because I don't know how many Lidls will have it, but it was reduced to £19.99. It works really well, I've currently got it set up, so the camera is facing the back door, so I can see the cats when they want to come in. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it works really well, and it was only £19.99. I did have a look online, and baby monitors are so expensive, like hideously expensive, so I'm glad I found like a proper bargain with that. Yeah, that I really wanted to show you that because I've had lots of questions. Anyway, whilst I was showing you those boxes being unboxed, does that make sense? <laughs> um, I can smell one of the best smells on earth. Oh, are you meditating? No, I'm just reading. Oh, and it is the smell of freshly break, breaked bed, baked bread. Mm. Lawrence made a sourdough loaf. We're having special scrambled eggs on toast tonight. Oh, the new neighbours are a Disney fan. She's wearing a Disney t-shirt. Uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, let me show you this bread. Look at that. It's got a good... Oh yeah, sounds nice and hollow. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice special scrambled eggs on toast for dinner tonight. Just really fancy it, you know? Yeah, with some smoked salmon. Um, yeah. can do, yeah. Yeah. Do you think? Definitely. Yeah, with a bit of smoked salmon and I'm going to have half an avocado. I want to just quickly show you. See what I mean about the room. <gasps> it's a mess. Let me show you the bump dates. Lots of people were saying, oh my gosh, your bump's growing really quickly and it's huge, blah, blah, blah. It's not huge. I know that for one. Um, it's still, it is much bigger, I have to say, than it was because it was like non-existent for up until like 22, 23 weeks and all of a sudden it's gone out. But I think it might be because I've got a really short torso. There was nowhere else for it to go. Rubbish. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. These leggings, oh my gosh, I'll try to link them below. They're from George at Asda. Finally invested in some like um, yoga slash gym leggings that are for maternity. First of all, look how high they go. Love that for me. They're really nice and stretchy. They're so comfortable. They've got a nice skin bit here. So 
you know, they're not just plain black, they've got a bit of jazz jazzness to them. Um but yeah, look at look at that. Is that like a normal? Seriously? Oh my gosh, it's gonna get bigger. I'm 25 and a bit weeks now, and it's gonna still keep getting bigger. But <clears throat> Can you see? It's like, I'm just kind of showing my belly out the front window right now. I don't know, it feels a lot bigger than it has been <laughs> the last few weeks, I'm not going to lie. But it doesn't feel like, like, I couldn't have stopped this. It's like just a bump that's come out. It's just a baby that's popped out. Yeah, my belly button's like flat and it's almost popped out. Which is goodies! Anyway, that's the bump update. The bump date. I'd love to know what size your bumps were around this time. My sister said she didn't really show until she was 27 weeks pregnant. I'm showing and I'm nearly 26 weeks. Anyway, gonna get a bit more work done, crack on with some work, and we can have some dinner.